Well, here's a new one. This is my little Lexus wife drives. She just pulled into the driveway and uh, quit driving horrible noise out of here. Boy, I just squished the hell out of my finger. But, uh, put it in drive, clunk, clunk, clunk. It's in park right now. And you can see the wheel is turning. Here's the boots gone. Some kind of a keeper here for the bearings gone. And uh, looks like this, uh, both boots are gone. Now, let's see what's in here. Yep. So I need to put a new axle in here. So first thing is I gotta take this strut loose. Pull this uh, hub off of here and loosen up the brake and stuff. Give myself a little room. I watch this on YouTube. Don't look too bad, but it's in park. You can see the axle's not moving up there at all. So it's broke right in here somewhere. So I don't know if I got any anything that's that big. I'm sure I don't have anything that's this big. We'll see. Just have to try to take it apart. Well, here I am on the Lexus. You see how that uh, U joint came apart there. The boot was messed up on that one. Uh, right now, I'm trying to get that rusty looking shaft out of there. Here's what the front looked like. It was a. Uh, looks like this keeper here just snapped. And made the U-joint the come apart. Anyway, I took a couple bolts out of right here. This goes into this uh, spindle. And uh, then the shaft just slides in. So, I got a new shaft. Hopefully it's the right one. I took all this stuff loose to have my... This is a speed sensor. I don't want to mess any of this up in the brake line. I'm going to crawl under it there now and see if I can pry that uh, coupler off there. Well, here's the old one out. Uh, this slid into the transmission and Everything I saw instructions say just put a screwdriver in between this and the transmission and you can pop this out. Well, it's got this snap ring in it. This is what holds it into the transmission. And that's pretty hard to get past there. So what I did is I just drove this uh, chisel up in there and uh, hit it with a big hammer. And that knocked it out finally. But, uh, and then I lost some, uh, lost some oil. And anyway, I just stuck the new one up in there. And, uh, you have to hit it with a big hammer. I used a pretty big one here to drive it in to where it compresses that snap ring. And, uh, 
it'll go all the way in and you can hear it clunk when it hits bottom so now I gotta get this back through the uh, uh, whatever this thing is drive hub and I'm just gonna oil up everything here a little bit with some of this Mr. Goop make sure it goes through I haven't messed up my speed sensor or anything I probably ought to take some time and clean this up but I'm just trying to get it together so I'll put that in and uh, probably have to jack it up around a little bit to get it to go through and then I can put all this stuff back together well what I did is I used a Morse 2 taper here got it started in the hole I was able to wiggle everything around and get it up in there to center this bolt and now I can uh, I can get my bottom one started hopefully yeah still off a little but it's pretty close there uh, Morse taper made it uh, probably had to go get another one wiggle the bottom around in fact I'm going to do that and then I'll put put one in the top first there's two of them in one the bottom one the top now I can uh, it's really close to wherever it goes there now so I can pull that top one out get a bolt in it press on well I got decided about tested it didn't really finish the video but uh, I torqued put all the bolts back torqued it down and uh, when test drove it drives fine absolutely quiet no clunking no anything so it's pretty much a, a done deal it wasn't too much of a how-to video but there was that one trick of using a big chisel in there to really get a good whack on that inner bearing to pop it out but uh, Lexus is done like and subscribe if this did you any good guys